Hi, this is Bob Langes, and if you're going to use an Apple TV or a device with Apple AirPrint in a corporate or educational environment, you may have a problem. And why is that? Because the Bonjour protocol that enables those devices uses multicast to advertise the services. So in a common network scenario, you'd have multiple subnets, and that service will not traverse those subnets. So how do we solve that problem? With a Bonjour capable gateway device, of course. And what a gateway does for you is it listens on one network for that multicast message and then it retransmits that multicast across all of the networks that are configured in your gateway. And in, in our example here we're using the low-cost Raspberry Pi platform which can be had for about $75 and is easy to set up with the walkthrough document that we'll reference at the end of this recording. So to help make this example make sense, let's tell you what we're working with here. We've got a Raspberry Pi platform with a case. We've got a default Raspbian software load on there with the version indicated. We have the AVAHI gateway software installed. Then we have a couple networks defined that we're working with just to show that it could traverse networks. And that's the 10.10.10 network and the 10.10.20 network. So now let's jump to an iPad and take a look. Before we set up the gateway, you'll see we have no other speaker options or media playback devices available. So now let's install the gateway. And if you look, after we install the gateway, you could see that we have the Raspberry Pi shown on both networks, the 10.10.10 and the 10.10.20 network. We have the iPad, which is the Brie iPad on this, on the 10.10.10 network there. And then we have the Apple TV shown on the 10.10.20 network. Now we'll jump into the Raspberry Pi command line interface and we'll take a look at the interfaces. And now you can see I have two interfaces defined. I have an ETH0 and an ETH0.2 defined. And you can see the IP address is associated. So this device exists on both networks. And these are the networks that it's going to be transmitting that Bonjour information back and forth between. So now to jump back on the iPad, if we ch check for media devices now, we'll see the AirPlay that's available and we'll be able to select our Apple TV. And if I were to go through and play the Pandora songs here, you would see that it would play through my Apple TV. We have success. So our end result is that the Apple TV and AirPrint devices can be found across subnets and it was accomplished by using low cost Raspberry Pi software and a downloadable gateway product. If you'd like to see the exact walkthrough with a step-by-step -step configuration guide, see www.langues.com for the article. Thank you so much.